Cal Kellogg of the Fish Sniffer Magazine here. This is footage of me fishing at Folsom Lake last winter. I enjoy spending time at both the Auburn State Recreation Area and the Folsom Lake State Recreation Area. Both of these recreation areas fall under the jurisdiction of the California State Parks. In recent years, people that frequent California State Parks and State Recreation Areas have observed a disturbing trend. Use and access fees for these state lands are exorbitant and go higher every year. Beyond that, the citizens of the state are routinely being denied access due to arbitrary closures of these state lands. Right now, a day-use pass at Folsom Lake will cost you $12. If you bring your boat, it'll cost you another $10. That's $22. Would you like to camp at Folsom? If you do, you better be prepared to spend upwards of $58 a night, depending on when and where you camp. While a $12 fee will get you into the open areas of the Folsom State Recreation Area, areas like Rattlesnake Bar are just arbitrarily closed. The State Parks website claims these areas are closed due to state budget issues and to consolidate resources at the park's most popular and heavily used areas. We'll get back to the California State Parks budget in a bit. All of this was on my mind on December 14th when I bank fished at Folsom near the Granite Bay launch ramp. As I waited for a bite, the solitude was broken by the roar of a speeding jet boat. The boat put on quite a display, the end of which I caught here on video. The operator of the boat was spinning donuts and doing other high-speed maneuvers in shallow water. From my vantage point, it looked as if the high-speed maneuvers were taking place both inside and outside the 5 mile an hour area offshore of the Granite Bay ramp. It also looked like the operator of the boat was intentionally chasing birds. I'm sorry to report that the North River jet boat in question is operated by the State Parks Police. If you or I operated a boat in this manner, I'm pretty sure we would receive a citation. While this looks to be an example of irresponsible boating from an operator who should certainly know better, it is very small compared to the problems that haunt the California State Parks Department as a whole. Here's a shot of the rig that was towing the North River boat. Let's get back to the State Parks budget. As I mentioned, use fees at recreation areas and state parks are high and going higher. At the same time, budget issues are being cited as the reason that we're being excluded from certain areas of the state parks and certain areas of recreation areas. With the budget so tight, I wondered how it was possible for the state parks officials I saw in the lake to be out joyriding, burning a bunch of gas in their big old North River jet boat. So I did a little looking into the budget of the California State Parks. What I found was quite amazing. For every year since 2009, the California State Parks has had a multi-million dollar surplus left over at the end of each year. At a time when 70 parks have been closed to accommodate a $22 million budget cut, the Parks Department squirreled away $54 million, basically hiding it in two huge funds. That's right, as you and I pay exorbitant fees to use some state lands and are excluded from using other state lands altogether, the California State Parks is sitting on top of a vast fortune of funds that they've accumulated from use fees over the years, but which they refuse to spend. It's amazing. I'm going to call the folks at the Folsom Lake State Recreation Area and give them my thoughts on these matters. If you'd like to do the same, their phone number is 916-988-0205. That's 916- 988-0205. Thank you.